News involving a Dallas Cowboy. Frisco police confirmed they are investigating defensive end David Irving. We just got new police reports in this case. Let's get out to News 8's Rebecca Lopez. She's in Frisco tonight with much more. Rebecca? Well, the Frisco Police Department are investigating Irving for uh, choking, for allegations that he beat this woman, and also uh, that he held her uh, and uh, unlawfully restrained her. But now she has recanted some of that. Now let's go to some of the video here of Irving. Uh, this is a tumultuous relationship that has been happening now since they were in college. Irving's longtime girlfriend told police that there were two separate incidents back on Saturday at 5 and at 10 p.m. According to a report, she claims he dragged her from the house by her hair, causing her pain, but later told police that she lied about it. It's not the first time the two have been involved in some sort of incident. While at Iowa State, she accused Irving of punching her after the two got into an argument over text messages from another woman. According to the Iowa report in 2013, police photographed several bruises on her right leg and several bruises on her lower left leg, as well as scratches on her left leg. She admitted in that case that she destroyed one of his video games and cut up his new clothes. In this latest incident, there were bizarre tweets on his verified Twitter account alleging abuse. One tweet said domestic violence again and David Irving's going to jail, say goodbye to his football career. He took to Twitter and Facebook saying his account has been hacked by his ex who was mad because he kicked her out of the house again for cheating. Again, over the years, she has taken to social media saying that she was going to get revenge on Irving. Again, the two have had a very toxic relationship for for many years now. Now we asked her for comment on Facebook and she told us she could not give us a call because Irving had broken her cell phone. The Dallas Cowboys at this time are not commenting. He has denied the allegations, but again, all of this is still being sorted out by the Frisco Police Department and they're trying to determine if they will in fact charge him in this case. Reporting live in Frisco, Rebecca Lopez, Channel 8 News.